Hey what's going on everybody, you're watching TechnoLionX and today I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S5 using a custom recovery. Now this uh, I'm going to show this tutorial on the G900H variant but it, this tutorial will work for any variant of S5 provided you find the proper recovery file. So without any further ado, let's get started. So to root your S5 you need three files. The first one is PC Odin, the second one is the super su.zip file and the third one is the custom recovery. Now I'll be uploading the links for the custom recovery as well as super su file. Make sure you go to the description and check both the links. Now once you open the, TW, uh, the recovery link you'll be ported to the XJ thread like this. Now you need to scroll down and search for the versions of TWRP. You will find a couple of versions of the recovery. Make sure you download the latest version so that you won't encounter any bugs. Now also you need to make sure that you download the odin.zip file because we are going to flash this recovery on our device using odin. Now once you download this file you need to extract it. Once you have done that now you need to download the super su file. The link will take you to a page like this you just need to hit this link and download super su.zip file and then you need to copy the super su file to the external sd card of your device now once you have done these steps you need to go and start pc odin on your pc click on yes and start pc odin this is what it looks like once you have done that now go back to your Samsung Galaxy S5 and now we need to go into the download mode of the S5 now to go to download mode you need to uh, press the power button the home button and the volume down button simultaneously keep pressing until you see the download mode Okay, so here we are into the download mode. You can see right there, uh, it's written volume up, which says continue and volume down for cancel and restart phone. But obviously we need to root and so we are going to continue. Before you press on continue, you need to connect your device to your PC. And now you can click on continue. Now when you click on continue, you'll see the Android logo and uh, downloading written right there it's not actually downloading anything but it's just into the download mode now keep your phone aside and go back to your pc so when you look at the pc Odin, you'll see uh, an idcom tab right there which turns blue uh, when you connect your s5 to your pc this is to ensure that you have the proper drivers installed on your uh, pc if you don't see this tab coming up you can uninstall keys and then install it again to get the drivers working on your laptop. Now, once this is all done, click on AP and search for the recovery file. Now, this is what it is, the uh, recovery.tar or MD5 file. You need to click on it and then click on open. You'll see uh, the recovery.tar or MD file appearing uh, besides AP. Now when this appears, click on start and now check what's happening on your phone. You can see the powered by Android logo right there. And if you check the Odin, it says reset. That means the recovery has been successfully flashed on our device. This was the first step. Now let your device boot and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now our Galaxy S5 has been booted. Uh, the routing thing is not yet done, but you can detach your S5 from your PC. Now we need to go into the recovery mode and then flash the super su.zip file. Now to go into the recovery mode, you first need to power off your device. So there I am. And now, once both of, both of these lights go off, you need to go into the recovery mode. To go into the recovery mode, you need to press the power button, the home button and the volume up button simultaneously. 
keep pressing until you see the powered by android logo so there we are now wait for some time and the recovery will show up so there it is uh, team win recovery that's what it is the twrp recovery now you need to go to install and then you need to search for your uh, super su file now that was inside my sd micro sd card click on ok and then scroll down to find your update.supersu uh, file so this is it version 2.46 click on it and then swipe to confirm flash now it's actually flashing the super su file wait for some time till it's done and now it says successful and now we need to reboot system that was the second step we have installed recovery custom recovery and now we have flashed the super su file that means our device is rooted but now we need to confirm whether it's properly rooted or not for that we need to move on to the third step Okay, so Android is upgrading, that means the apps are being optimized. That won't take some time. Okay, so now our device is booted. Now once you have booted up, you can see right there, we have the super SU file. Now it won't have any logs, neither than any apps that, he, that have been granted super SU. Now we want to confirm whether our device is booted or not. So for that, head to Play Store. And now search for an app that's called Root Checker. So that's what the app looks like. Install this app to confirm root. Okay guys, so there we have installed it. Now open this app. And now it will ask you, it will show up a disclaimer which says the app has insta not installed root on the device but this is only to confirm root. Okay, now click on OK. Now wait for some time so that super SU, that, uh, so that there comes a pop up which says you either you have to grant or not grant access to this app. Okay, so there it is. Click on grant and there you go guys it says congratulations the root access is properly installed on this device so that's how you root your device now you can do anything with your device you can install a custom rom you can change your custom recovery if you want to know how to install uh, a custom rom on this device that's the s5 g900h you can head to the description down below and check the links i have uploaded a link for how to install the S6 ROM, that's the Space Rocket ROM and a review of the same. And if you want to know how to unroot and to unbreak your device, you can also check the links. The links have been uploaded. Thanks for watching this video guys and I hope to see you in the next one.